Now, uh, folks, as a father, I've learned one or two things about raising kids. For instance, if you let any child near a peanut, you can be tried at the Hague. And <laughs> being a father has not only given me knowledge, it has given me something even better, the gall to tell you how to raise your own children. This is... The Late Show, Stephen Colbert, Level 10 Baby Master. Tell me what to do. Nobody tells me what to do. I tell you what to do. <laughs> Today's topic, gender reveal parties. Celebrations where expectant parents reveal their baby's gender in creative ways. Big crazy gender reveals are the hottest baby trend right now. Even more popular than MTV's My Super Sweet Son's Breasts. <laughs> Used to be, you could reveal your baby's gender by cutting into a cake that was either pink or blue inside. If it's pink, it's a girl. She'll be encouraged to do things like baking gender reveal cakes. If it's blue, it's a boy, and he'll be allowed to eat that cake without society judging his body. <laughs> but lately, new parents have really been upping their game and revealing their baby's gender with elaborate stunts on social media using things like fire hoses, airplane drops, or even fun and festive car exhaust fumes. <laughs> because it's every pregnant mom's dream to celebrate her child's impending birth by huffing pastel carbon monoxide. <laughs> gender reveals... Gender reveals are bigger, louder, and hellisher than ever, because people are revealing gender by firing bows and arrows, shooting each other with colored paintballs, and blowing stuff up. <laughs> Pro tip, if you're revealing via explosion, you might want to have another couple nearby revealing via fire hose. <laughs> now, the uptick in violent gender reveals makes sense because there are no feelings more vulnerable or tender than those we have for our newborn children, which is why dad wants gender reveals to sack up. In fact, <laughs> popping a balloon to have pink or blue confetti fall out or slicing open a pink or blue cake are traditionally feminine. So many couples have been pioneering ways to make the reveal process more manly. Yeah! Cake and balloons are not manly, which is why your boy's next birthday party should feature meatloaf and barbed wire. <laughs> clearly, clearly. <laughs> to get dads interested in announcing their soon-to-be-born child's gender, the answer is gratuitous violence. And I'm here to help with some hot tips for gorier more terrifying gender reveals that dads will love even more than their kids. First up, cakes are for cowards. But what if you replace the food coloring with wasps if it's a boy, <laughs> and hornets if it's a girl? Either way, good luck getting them into the cake. Or how about a celebratory street riot and give the police the correct color tear gas? <laughs> ah, it's a girl! Are these tears of joy? Or how about gathering friends and family for an enhanced reveal by waterboarding the couple in either pink or blue Gatorade? <laughs> it's a boy, I swear, that's all I know. Please stop! <laughs> but for the baddest ass of all badass reveals, have the father's body injected with either pink or blue dye, then the mom can plunge her hand into the father's chest and rip out his colored heart. Hey, it's a boy! Now take a celebratory bite of the heart to provide your unborn child with valuable nutrients. Well, or perhaps that's too far. Well, <laughs> that's all for Stephen Colbert's Level 10 Baby Master. Join me next time when I show you how, using nothing but a Ziploc bag full of gravy, anyone can breastfeed. <laughs> we'll be right back.